All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're going to continue moving forward with this Timber Creek build. Now that I got the proper size gas tube, and I thought it was a mid-length and it's a carbine length and blah, blah, blah. Well, in any case, moving forward. <laughs> and one of the cool things is, is we were able to uh, match the upper and the lower receiver, go ahead and get everything in there. And I was able to uh, basically get this charging handle where it was perfectly matched up with that upper receiver. But anyway, let's talk about this thing. This is the Timber Creek Outdoors. Enforcer Ambidextrous Charging Handle. Lifetime warranty made in the USA, Springfield, Oregon. Okay, the e Ambi Charging Handle. Enforcer Ambidextrous Charging Handle. The Enforcer Ambidextrous Charging Handle is a drop-in replacement for mil-spec charging handles. Hence, mil-spec. Mil-spec, not mil-spec. All right, uh, oversized. The cool thing about it, all right, let's just move forward. It's featuring our patent-pended Roller bearing technology. Okay, so it'll unlatch no matter what hand you're using with, and it is made out of CNC aircraft aluminum. Now, you're going to see some wear marks on top of that right there, and that's basically from the uh, upper receiver. I will tell you this right now this is a beautiful piece of work. Now, this is probably not a charging handle list for everybody, but if you're building that one bling build, Man, I'll tell you what, this thing comes, it has 10 different colors it comes in. Too many to list here, black, magenta, purple, pink, orange, blue, desert, tan, yada, 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 everything you're talking about. But the impressive part that I liked about this guy is the roller bearing technology. And let's just talk about that. As you can see right there, there looks like a little roller bearing. And this thing is as smooth as silk from either side as you can see right there look at that smooth silky it also has the timber creek little logo in it very nice flat and you can see just pinned right there absolutely perfect cnc like i said uh look at the difference in the beveling on the end you can see how the ends are ground down right there now um <laughs> this is a dirty beast right here i wish i had a towel nearby Anyway, this, this came off of my pistol caliber carbine competition rifle, and this is one of my favorites. This is the uh, Palmetto State Armory, and I think these guys are manufactured by Aero Precision, to be perfectly honest with you. But in any case, um, this is one of my absolute favorites, and it does have an ambidextrous as well. But you can see the difference in the nosing up here. as well all the way across in the bottom and this guy's a lot dirtier i can't wait but from a size aspect and a appearance aspect uh yeah if you're looking for bling and performance here if you're looking for just straight old performance there compare it also with the radian raptor just came out of creed zilla you can see the size difference there if you have a radian raptor you can see the comparison and the size difference so anyway, really good looking. You can see that roller bearing in the back. But the nice thing, I, I really dig how smooth it is right across the front. Now we got some wear from, I think, a burr that happened in that upper receiver. We're going to go ahead and put the DS arms in here. And once I get the gas tube in this bad boy, we're going to take it out and run some rounds. So I'm interested in seeing how that War Sport barrel uh, works. If it doesn't work as good as we think, we'll go ahead and trade it out for a different barrel. I'll put that on some kind of really, really cheap build. But you pull from both sides, just like that. And then you can see the burr. It was something up in that receiver that was causing that thing. But overall, the build is coming along quite nicely. The handguard, I think at this point in the project, hold on one second, put this on a level surface. This rifle is now sitting around at five pounds, 13 ounces. And of course, we'll put an optic on it or something and it needs a gas tube. All right, well, that being said, guys, uh, pretty cool stuff. Looking forward to putting this thing out on the range and seeing how it flies and uh, just having some fun with it. It's Good Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24 seven for our freedom. Freedom comes in some serious roller bearing ambidextrous charging handle. Let's give you a little quick flyby. Look at that thing.
the handguard is really nice. But what I can't wait to see is how nice that muzzle brake performs, the heartbreaker. Oh yeah, Timber Creek. All right, y'all be good, I'm out of here.